Hi, I'm Sam from Website Right. Hope you're well. And I want to talk to you about WooCommerce and the ability to create your own composite product. Now, WooCommerce is great for adding products to your website. Of course, you've got your pre-made products. You can put it in the relevant category. People can come along, click, purchase, buy, done. But what if you've got a product that needs mass customization? Now, of course, you've got WooCommerce options where you can, if you've got a t-shirt and you've got the options, you know, small, medium, large, extra large, that's great, that's easy to do. There are various ways that you can customize a product, even with the default WooCommerce without any extra plugins. But what if you've got a product that needs mass customization, like a mix and match? I'll tell you about this project that I was working on recently. It's a website called Poppy and Pearl. Um, this is the website at the moment, actually. And um, they have gift baskets that can get delivered to people. Now, they've got a different kind of gift baskets, like a take care parcel or happy new home, Valentine's parcel, or, you know, get well soon, that kind of stuff. Um, I think it's absolutely great. New mama parcel. I think they're brilliant. And they're all... They all come with lovely uh, lotions, confectionery, candles and products that are just appropriate for the given niche. And I think we started off with about 13 or 14 pre-made baskets, but the owner of the company, it's a local company in Bournemouth, by the way, do recommend you check them out because I love to support local businesses. The owner was saying, you know, the website's great. However, some people have been saying, oh, um, can you change this for that? Can you change that for this? So I thought, well, what about creating a kind of wizard format whereby you can go through, see the relevant categories, and then you can pick the basket or tin or box that it's going to come in and then say, OK, in the confectionery section, I'll have one of these. In the candle section, I'll have all oh, two of these, you know, baby products, all sorts of different categories, pampering products. And then they can basically build their own parcel and the price gets totaled as they go and they come to the checkout, and Bob's your uncle, it's all done. If you're from America, Bob's your uncle, it's an English idiom. I'll put a link in the description for you. Uh, so how do you do that? Well, it does need a couple of WooCommerce plugins uh, for this to be able to be actioned. However, once you've got these plugins, it's fantastic, and the opportunities are absolutely endless. In this video, I'm gonna show you how it's done Hopefully you'll understand and if you've got any questions do send me a message because I'm willing to help out on the YouTube comments or just send me an email. And by the way, can I just say first, if you do find this video helpful, um, please can you give me a thumbs up and also subscribe as well and hit that notification bell to get notified of any new videos that I do on this YouTube channel. But take a look at this and hope it helps you. So here you can see the Poppy and Pearl website and as you scroll down you see the individual parcels that they have that are ready to be added to the basket. Now of course when trying to create a kind of wizard where people can pick and choose this does unfortunately mean that each and every individual product has to be added within WooCommerce. So whilst once there were 12 products here you then need to put all of the individual elements in there and as you can see this has been done and they've also been priced individually too. They've even been categorized as well to make it uh, you know much easier to manage but there are 100 10 items in the shop now and of course we've still got the ready-made parcels for people to buy but what we now need to do is create a product whereby people can pick and choose which items they're going to have in their basket so the plugin that is needed is something called WooCommerce composite products I'll pop the link to this in the description now this is amazing if you've got the scenario whereby you just need to pick one product per category so you know like on a wizard format it'll start off with one section say like your skateboards you need certain trucks you need a deck and all the different accessories that you might want but with that you can only pick one product per category now with this being very flexible, I need to pick more than one product per category because we're going to go through baby products, beauty, confectionery, candles, and they don't necessarily want to have just one per category. They may want two candles and one chocolate bar and then three baby products, for instance. So we also need to download this plugin called WooCommerce Product Bundles. 
Now, these work in tandem with each other and work absolutely great. But this is where we're going to start, okay? Firstly, we need to create a product on the website that is a composite product. Now, we're gonna create one called Build Your Own Parcel, and this is gonna be the page where people will go to in order to, you've guessed it, build your own parcel. So we've already created a product in WooCommerce, which is the build your own parcel product. And you can see as we scroll further down that the product data is set to composite product here. And what that does is enables this tag here where you've got components and scenarios, but it's the component section that we need to concentrate on first. Now, there are various layouts that you can have with this particular build your own parcel, and you might want to experiment with which ones you want. But here you can add a component. Now, a component is essentially the section of products that you want the user to go through. Now, in this particular example, we want to go through the various categories so people can say okay do you want any of these baby products no skip to the next beauty confectionery pamper all that kind of stuff okay so what we're going to do is create what's called some product bundles now and for this we need to create a new product so we're going to go to product and then add new and then in the product data box on the subsequent page we're going to make sure it's a bundle so here's our new product let's call it baby clothes and then as we scroll down we're going to select product bundle here and then we'll go to bundled products and we're now just going to pick the baby products that are in the store now um let's just start typing this in So we've got our first product in there. Of course, we want to make this optional and we'll also price this individually too. And then click add product. And then let's find it again, because there are two baby products at the moment. We will add more at a later date. Uh, and this one is, I believe this one here. Make it optional and then price it individually too. That'll do for now. And then all we need to do is we'll make the product not appear on the website. So make sure the cat bit, the catalog visibility is set to hidden because you, of course, do not want this product to appear on the website because it's just a component of another product. So we'll click publish here. And then just to give you another example, I'll also create another product as well, which will be a product bundle. And I'll make this a beauty one. So here we go. I'm going to call this Beauty and Pamper. I'll set the visibility to hidden now just so I don't forget. And then I need to make this a product bundle. And then let's go to bundle products. And then I can start adding the beauty products. Now I don't quite know off the top of my head. I'll have to type these in. So, okay, Rosewood hand cream. So let's add a product here Rosewood. Search through the database. And then you can start to add it. There we go. There's one. Uh, and then vanilla and sheer butter. Make sure it's optional and priced individually, of course. And then we'll also add some gin and tonic hand cream as well, and also the lip balm as well. So I'm just giving you an example here of what this will look like. I'm going to add product and then just add another balm. So at the moment, we've only got two products in the baby category, and then uh, we've got four in this category here. So the lip balm as well. And remember, of course, click optional and then click priced individually. Now that that's done, you should click publish. And then what we'll then need to do is go back to our original product, which is the build your own parcel. So we're on the build your own parcel section at the moment, and we've already got composite products set. So what we need to do is add a component now. And the component is basically the category. So firstly, uh, let's call this baby clothes. We could put a description if we want, and then we can select a product. So in this, it's going to be the product that we created. Although it's a product bundle, it does appear as a product. So let's see if we can find it. 
there we go baby clothes uh, it is optional of course uh, you have got various options with regards to how the products will display. I'm going to go for thumbnails. You can choose uh, the minimum quantity of products that could be added to each section. And then, of course, we want to price these individually, too. And then we'll click another component here. Let's add the component. And this, of course, will be uh, the beauty and pamper. So uh, let's do that. And then we need to select the product. So let's go for beauty. and then select the product we'll make it optional we'll make sure thumbnails appear and then we'll set the quantities here and make sure priced individually is selected as well now that that's all done we can click update and we'll check out what our product page looks like so here we go here's what the build your own parcel page looks like now depending on the way your woocommerce templates are set it may look bad or it may look good straight away now here you can see what it's done it's taken a thumbnail of the category here which we don't want the actual image for the baby clothes component so what we need to do is go back into build your own parcel and then if we go to the advanced settings here you can choose to hide various elements there so i'm going to hide the title and the thumbnail for each of the components that I set so let's just hide that and then we'll click update and then we'll see what our page looks like and there we go I've just reloaded the page and this looks fantastic now so you've got the couple of products in the baby clothes section of course if you want to you can have a look at the actual product description individually uh, by opening a new tab there however you can also see the images in the image too in full screen, which is fantastic. But yeah, we've got a couple of sections. So if I wanted to add that, you can see that the overall basket price is increasing. Now, without the product bundles uh, plugin for WooCommerce, you'd only be able to select one per category. So this is where you can see the advantage of having that. Uh, so I've got them couple. And then if I go next to Beauty and Pamper, uh, I can choose to add uh, more of them in there. There's a bit of CSS formatting issues, as we can tell, um, with a few elements there. But as you can see, it's absolutely brilliant the way it all works. And uh, yeah, if you um, if you then review the configuration, you can see all of the individual products that you've added and then add to basket accordingly. It's absolutely fantastic and it really works a treat. Of course, you may need to style this according to your needs. Now, I'm going to restyle this and make sure that the actual checkout part, this review configuration page looks absolutely brilliant. But yeah, it's so simple. Now someone's created their custom product and it's just a case of adding it to the basket. It is that easy. You might need some help, as I say, with the CSS and styling your WooCommerce page. Now, depending on the theme that you're using, it may look slightly different, but also do have a play between the different configuration options within the composite products where you can lay it out differently because you can do it in tabs like you saw there, or you can do it section by section as it loads down the page. It's entirely up to you. If you need any help, please leave a message or get in contact directly because I'll be willing to help you in terms of styling it and making sure it looks just perfect. But yeah, I hope that video helped you. And uh, ultimately, it's going to increase the sales for Poppy and Pearl because people now can select exactly what they want. And that was the whole point of doing this because otherwise it's a lot of manual labour with taking products out, putting it in, changing the price individually. With this, they can build their own parcel. And to be honest, this website is now future proof. So she can just go on, recommend people can either purchase bundled products or build their own and everyone's going to be happy. Hope that video helped and do remember to subscribe. Thanks very much.